if you're joining us for another video, if you're joining us for the first time, hello! Here I have a 28 inch giant Barbie and here I have one that's already out of the package. She has a bunch of articulation with articulation in the head, articulation in the hands and all that wonderful stuff. And we also have these one, we've also gotten sent these wonderful outfits for our giant dolls and we also have a second giant doll okay so what we've been done is we've been sent three one of the packets unfortunately came apart in the post obviously but um we've been sent two other fashion packs and we have an additional large barbie to dress up so Astra absolutely loves her 28 inch Barbie doll. She's not, yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's like, I'm not giving away one. Cause usually we give our double ups away, eh babe? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, I'm not giving away one. So what we're gonna do is she's gonna pick out of, we're gonna try them all on and she's gonna think of which one she likes the best on the second 28 inch doll. And then we're gonna both put them on display in your room. Is that what you want, sweetheart? Yeah, she, she wants them both. You can see how big it is compared to her. Put it beside you, baby. Like she's standing up and it's pretty much up to her head. <laughs> These are big Barbies. Now Astra did point out that the articulation on them is good, but that is pretty much from the waist up. You can see that they're... Yeah, they have no movement in the knees. So when you try and sit them down, unfortunately they do kind of have to like do that beach pose where their legs are stretched out for them so they can't sit on doll chairs which is a real shame. I think it was a huge oversight on Barbie's part. What do you reckon babe? On Mattel's part I should say. But still when they stand up they look absolutely gorgeous. So passing over the magic scissors. For the snippity snip snip snip, she's going to get her second Barbie out of the box while I have a up close look with this doll with you. Here is her Barbie up front and she is beautiful. She has rooted eyelashes. Now I love rooted eyelashes on a doll but I do not like when they have rooted eyelashes on a doll and then they paint additional eyelashes behind them. I know it gives it a semi 3D effect from the front but to me it always looks silly from the sideline so I wish that they wouldn't have that. However, not complaining too much. To me this is a classic Barbie. Blonde, blue eyed, beautiful face. Her hair is nicely rooted but it is quite thinly rooted so you will have pulls as you can see here when it falls down it is not a thick rooting but to be quite honest since she's more i think a display doll than a play doll it, it's never really bothered us and it has in the front here this twirly bit that comes down here into a tie she was super excited that when we got these um fashion packs for different outfits as this is a really, really fun doll. Coming down to her chest here, you can see she has a golden necklace with Barbie on. I mean, what style Alkin doesn't want her name on a necklace, huh, Astra? <laughs> and then classic pink Barbie in this shimmery top with, with mesh at the top. Down to, of course, pink on pink on pink in her skirt. This is all one piece and all held together at Velcro at the back. She has painted on white undies. I'm sorry, my darling. I didn't want to do that, but I had to. <laughs> then we go down to the knees. Now, as Astra pointed out quite rightfully, um, her articulation and posability in her arms is amazing. I mean, it, you can do all sorts of poses and stuff with her, which is why I think it's such a shame that Mattel did not give her knee joints. Because quite honestly, Astra and I would prefer to sit her down on display than stand her up because she is so big. This is basically her standing... I can't get her in the frame so just be mindful that when you do get one of these big dolls I know there are other ones and I hope that their articulation is bigger we actually tried to get one of the um, dark skinned ones when we were in America hey sweetheart but we couldn't find one um, hopefully there are some with articulation in the knees I know there are other reviews on these dolls so it should come out someone is it's like she's going into a coffin isn't it <laughs> She's digging in there. Freedom! Well, Frankenstein rise, darling. <laughs> She's like, Mum, I'm concentrating. Uh, 
so, a band I can't get to. Okay, I'm gonna give her a hand and then we'll get the second doll out. Okay, so we've got Barbie out of the box. Astra is just releasing her hair out of the plastic ties. On the side here, I notice here is the picture of the other girls. So they come in a variety of colors and types. I'm disappointed. No brunettes with blonde eyes. How rare is it with to get a blonde? I mean, with blue eyes. How rare is it, babe? <laughs> forever looking for brunettes with blue eyes but every blonde eyed girl uh, every blue eyed girl has blonde hair blah 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 blah, blah. however I'm looking at the legs down here to get her out. oh I'll have a look soon sweetie there it doesn't look to be down here I can see this doll's legs maybe they all are that way which is a semi shame semi shame but um there is a great variety to satisfy a bunch of little girls there. So, you can see that this is a regular outfit that the, these Barbie dolls come in. I'm going to be dressing her in three other types of dresses to see how they look on her. This is an official dress such as this one. Unfortunately, we don't know what happened, but when it was sent to us, the package was pretty much unglued, eh baby? In, the, yeah. in this front part, which has the Barbie pardon fell apart so this is the one we're going to try her in first we'll be right back <laughs> so here's the first dress that we've put on her and i really like it's a little uh little sparkly little uh belt silver belt a little uh, bow and it's a hopping dress with this little lace over the top and it's got all these grey little shimmers on it and it goes well with the painted on shoes which you can't really, ch you can't change in the shoes so finding something, um, a dress that is a good colour with the shoes is a good thing I'm going to try this one next so here's the second outfit we put her in it's a nice blue and pink combination it's got this little uh, pink top with this little buttons coming down, these sparkly buttons. Then we have another skirt with a, what do you call it? It's a mesh darling, a pink yeah, mesh, a over, mesh it. over it. And what's on the print underneath? So under the mesh skirt. Under the mesh it has all kinds of stuff, Barbie, the Barbie face, diamonds, shoes, hair dryers, purses, sunglasses, lipstick, nail a uh, nail polish. So it's got a real nice print underneath and I actually think this one is really and cool. also the name Barbie. <laughs> and that has blue which ties in with her blue eyes and the blue on the skirt ties in with the top. What do you I, think of this one sweetheart? I thought this one was really cool but um, I kind of wish that they would include like a headband or something because I thought mm. a, head, a blue Headband would be nice with it. Yeah, it would be actually, because it's a bit more. This one's a bit going out to at a, to a party at night time, isn't it? And this one's a bit more. I don't know. It's a bit tiny, bit more casual, wasn't it, baby? Tiny, yeah. All right, what do we got to try next, baby? We have this one to try next. And I think this one will be her favorite. That she might choose something else because she's her own person. But when I saw this, I thought Astra. Let's be right back. Hi all. I really thought this one would be my favorite, but uh, the jacket's a little bit too small for me, but I really like the pants that came with it. These really long pants for her. And I think I think that the pants are really cool because all the other ones are just dresses. And for this one, you get a jacket, a t-shirt, and pants. And you get this little cute little belt that just came undone. <laughs> so... I thought the glitter on it was really nice, but I do wish that the uh, the jacket would come down to here. But I really like the jacket material and the color of the jacket. Um, it just it's different from the other things in that the other dresses are like very uh, standout colors, and this one's more. Um, it's more subdued, isn't it, sweetie? Yeah, so it, it the is. The black pants and the purple. It's almost, apart from the jacket, if the jacket was all black, it would almost be business-like, if that makes sense. Um, very subdued. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah. So, Astra doesn't think this one, well, did think this one, and I did think this one would be her favourite, but after we put it on, we had a little discussion, and both of us were kind of like, oh, it's nice, 
but it's so what what <laughs> what's your favorite babe probably this one just because of the contrast in colors with blue and pink and you don't really see blue that often on a barbie doll besides in her eyes yep Okay, so we're going to put her favourite one on and then we'll stand both Barbies up beside each other and have a look at them. So here's my Barbie with the outfit I like and the original outfit. And I think both of the outfits and all of the outfits are really great. And I do wish that I could try some of the outfits on the Barbie other than the generic blonde blue eyed Barbie. I really want the Asian Barbie. And I, and I really like the outfits that came with it, and I want to try Barbie's generic outfit on the Asia one and the Asians one generic outfit on this one. <laughs> she really likes this one here. Let me just show on the packet. So we, we, well, we'll call her the Oriental girl, because to me she has an Oriental face on her. I want the Barbie here, the darker skinned one with the curly hair, because I think she looks absolutely fabulous. And um, I'll try once again when I'm in America. I missed out last time, didn't I, babe? Yeah. We couldn't find her. We could not find them anywhere. However, if you like this video, what should they do, Estra? Give this video a huge thumbs up. Yep, give her a thumbs up for confidence. She did her best. And if you love toys or dolls, what should they do, sweetie? They should, get, they should subscribe and share this video. And thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> She's bye. trying to get her puppy to say bye. Here we go. There you go. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys.